So first things first, what you need to do is you need to head on down to the store and head on into the store so you can get yourself the Twitch app. So go over to this menu bar on the left hand side, go down to apps and then you can go down to apps home and you'll be able to find it in here, no problemo. So in the top entertainment apps, it's usually in here. Um, and if you can't see it in here, go down to most popular apps and boom, there it is, Twitch. Click on it and then install the app and you need to have a Twitch account so you can link to Twitch and then stream to Twitch. Once you've downloaded Twitch, you need to head on over to twitch.tv slash activate and then enter the code which pops up on screen to link your account to this app on your Xbox Series S. And then once you're logged in on the app on your Series S, you want to head on over up the top here to broadcast. And once you're on broadcast, you want to select it, so press A. And here we go. This is where you put in all your settings to make your stream come to life. So it's got information from my previous stream here. So that is the title of the stream here. You can change this using the keyboard on screen. I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now. And then your game will appear here next to language. Once you start playing, it will automatically populate that and set your language to English if that is the correct one for you. Next up, for destination here, obviously we're going to Twitch, then camera position. You can plug in a USB camera if you have one, plug it in. I recommend if you're looking to get one which is good and cheap, which a lot of streamers use, use this Logitech C920, which I'll leave a link down below in the description for you to check out. It's the one I use. And once you have it plugged in, you can select the camera position on screen. Next, we've got the broadcast bar position. You basically just select where you want this to be, to be out of your way. And all this shows is information about your stream, how long you've been streaming for. There's a little red dot indicator to let you know you're still live. It will tell you how many people are viewing and it'll also tell you stuff about your microphone. That is all that is. So I recommend just select bottom right or the opposite bottom corner from your webcam just to keep it out of the way. Next up, you've got the microphone. So this is for your microphone. You will have to use the microphone on your gaming headset. So try and pick up a decent one of them so you get the best sound quality and then you can play about with the volume slider. You can just press down or up to change it and then you can obviously press mute to mute it. Next is party chat. If you're in a party with people on the game, you can control the volume here up and down. I recommend you just mute this. Next up, we've got game. This is obviously all the game audio. So the sound effects, the shooting, explosions, the music. So just watch with that. I recommend you maybe turn that down a little bit just so it does not clash with your microphone volume. So you still come through super clear. Next up, bitrate. This is about the quality of your stream. And this is a really useful tool they've introduced here. So you can see here we've got the resolution. I recommend if you're starting out, go for 720p. If you've got good broadband or good internet, maybe try 1080p, but this is the best thing here. If you just click automatic, it will run a test and tell you what your bit rate should be. So let's click on it right now. This is good, it takes away a lot of the tech know-how for you and will just set the best settings for your internet speed and your series s or series x obviously and you can see here it's came up with a bit rate of 6500 and a stream resolution of 1080p so there we go so once you're ready to go live head down to the start streaming button just keep pressing down until you get to it and then press a to start streaming and wait until the live button appears like that and that means you will be live on twitch now learn how to get Twitch alerts on your Twitch stream on your Xbox by clicking the card on screen right now.